Hey there, it's Kyle Hilliard for MinMax. Valve this morning released, looks like, three gameplay videos for Half-Life Alex, which I'm going to watch for the first time right now. Okay, we're on a train. I wonder if this is the train that Gordon starts in in the beginning of Half-Life 2. Oh. It looks more dilapidated. Okay. Already the, uh, sort of, the head crab people are creepier. <laughs> oh boy, I'm already kind of disappointed in one thing. So I don't, I don't want to start out on a negative note, but like, at, you have to, she's putting her feet out in front of her to sort of relocate. <sighs> I was hoping they would have come up with a more sort of interesting and more dynamic way to move around. I mean, it gets the job done, but uh, I'm a little bummed by that. But let's move on. Let's see what else is happening. The little physics object on the head crab, that was cool. Oh, that's fun. Come on. Pulling wood out of the frame to get out of the way. It's like one of those simple like VR things, just tactile, just like, grab and pull. Oh, looks like she shot him in the hand? I'd have to watch that back, maybe. But it looks like maybe the hand explodes. God, I love... So, Valve anima robotic animations are just the best. Just like the way their machines move. Okay, what do we got here? Upgrades? Everything looks so slick. Just the way the machine grabbed the gun and stuff like that. Okay, I didn't see it actually do anything, though. Okay, you can wear a hat. What else did she grab there? Small touch. There's a head crab that's gonna jump out of here, right? It's got to. Oh, that was cool. Just a quick catch. Oh, whoa, what is that? Because you've seen large versions of those. I mean... I guess I shouldn't be surprised based on, like, what they've already shown and the fact that it's a Valve game to begin with, but there's a lot of, like, physics seems integral to oh, gameplay. Russell, the Combine use these. Are they safe for people? Uh, yeah, I use them all the time. Are you sure? Yeah, they're great. That's weird. Okay, it just gets crushed. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> that's, that's creepy, man. Hey, you were right. These are great. All right. Takes the hat off. I wonder if that's actually like a gameplay mechanic, wearing the hat, or if it's just kind of like a, a neat thing. Uh, surprised they're not like rushing at her. So can you grab that like out of the air, I wonder? I guess you could probably take a step back to have avoided that. Because it's not really reasonable that the player would be like... That's cool. Nice throw. I wonder how... I wonder if it gives you some auto-aim there. Gives you some aim assist. I wonder where you are right now. Because there were like functional trains in certainly the beginning of Half-Life 2. That's cool. So is that is that just a fun thing you can do? She threw the the bar at the head crab. Is that just like, hey, isn't this a fun thing you can do? Or is that like an actual tactical you can throw this kind of thing? Out of ammo. That's gotta be like an early part of the game. Because it it was like the fact that she figured out how to use that the health area and stuff like that. All right, let's check out the second video, Half Life Alex gameplay video well, we're two. We're gonna get you out of here and up to the roof. I'm working on it. Are we getting into some puzzle stuff here? So is this this is lock picking? So it looks like she's actually physically walking around the whole thing. Like, she's moving and she's rotating it, but 
you're actually like walking in circles around there. Okay, that looked like one of those. Russell, are you seeing this? Oh wow! Look at that. Man, that that is a thing that works really well in VR. Is just like big structures, and there's a lot of opportunity for that in Half Life Two of just looking up at this big massive thing or looking down Look into out. a big hole. Okay, that's a grenade. So her saying "look out," I wonder how dynamic that is. Was it? Was she just holding up two fingers there? Because that's been a question for me for a while. Is like, there's the the Valve Index controller, which has really good hand tracking, but then the other controllers only account for like two or three of your digits. And I wonder if like playing on the with the Index controller will be a little be a little better. Gotcha. Is that an animation or is that? the player actually throwing that up in the air. Because, I mean, that's something you can do in VR. You can juggle. I love the idea of... I liked in the last video how she, like, reached through the door and, like... <laughs> Let's go. Let's just threw the clip at the door. There's all these things that she's picking up that I'm not clear what they do. Okay. It's a very simple but fun puzzle there. It looks like it killed the head crab too, I think. <coughs> I'm really starting to think I shouldn't be breathing this stuff. Agreed. Just keep moving. Maybe breathe less. Maybe breathe less. That's good. Good joke. I think this... I mean, this is... Already the funniest Half-Life ever made. Which I'm on board with. Valve's got funny people over there. They should keep making funny things. So that's like some kind of item you need. Okay, so now we're seeing her walk around more. Oh, they're gross. Yeah, they... You know, I wonder if they'll show... I'd like to see what it's like to get caught by one of those in VR. Because even in just regular half-life that those are the worst so it see she's walking around so much is this like room scale VR that we're looking at here because she's walked pretty far at this point or is this just like the player has full control very tactile way to open the elevator door that's one of those things that I can just tell just looking at it will we'll feel good to do in VR just pulling up that ready. thing to open the door. I mean, we must just be... Look at that. Robotic movement. Always so amazing. Oh, that's it for that one. So we must be... If not City 17, then... Another city. It certainly looks a lot like City 17. Okay, final video. So we haven't seen her using many other guns... Okay, so now we're back to the sort of quick movement. And it looks like we're fighting a human. Or a human character. It's probably a combine enemy, but... And you get the laser dot, huh? Okay, I think... When she hit those uh, head crab infected scientists earlier, I think they had... They were holding orange in their hand, too. This is a good soundtrack. Guys, I think this is a Half-Life game. This, <laughs> this sounds like Half-Life soundtrack. Oh, that's cool. Pulling the door. See, these are those things that they... This is, like, what Valve has talked about in terms of, like, gameplay mechanics that they can't really implement in, uh... With a controller very easily. Like, stuff like that. Like, being able to just grab the door handle. See, there's one of those flying things. It, like, the thing that you had earlier that you used for health almost looked like a miniature version of those. Okay, that was a grenade, I think. Have there been any explosive barrels? Because Half-Life 2 has some of the best explosive barrels. So that is a new enemy type for sure. That was like a combine carrying like a, a cannon, basically. There's a name for that gun I can't think of. Okay, we got a different gun here now. Ooh, okay. So that's one of those, those like surveillance drones uh, that helicopters around. Those things were a huge pain 
in Half-Life 2. But I imagine they'd be a lot more fun to... Because you have the accuracy of VR, I bet they're going to be a lot more fun to take off. Put the hat on, Alex. Put the hat on. It's armor. See, what are all these things that she's picking up? Oh, okay. So you can throw the grenade back. That's nice. That's cool. Nice. So I wonder if that... What is that? Measuring tape? <laughs> so she's putting different... Ammo, like, in the gun to shoot it out? It's kind of crazy. Alright. Good ending there. Alright. Half-Life Alex is looking cool. I'm, I'm, I guess my initial... I have that little bit of disappointment that it looks like your main mode of transportation is still, like putting a holographic version of yourself in front of yourself and sort of like zipping to that. But it also looked like there was a, like the second video had it more open-ended where there was less uh, zipping around and more, it almost looked like it was like room scale VR that she was walking around in or something. But I wonder if it's just, I wonder if they have full control on the control stick. I mean, it actually makes me a little nauseated to play that way, but like, I think that's still generally my preference in terms of like lore and that kind of thing. I mean, we know it's a prequel. I, I She's got to be in City 17. Like, there are functional trains in City 17, but that first video one, it looked like she um, was on a non-functioning train. I'm going to pull that up again real quick. Because it doesn't... I mean, that just looks like a stopped train. I thought... for I was thinking maybe like, no, well, the lights are flashing. They it fooled me for a second. The lights are flashing, but it looks like... That it's just a stationary train. Okay, so, okay. This video one demonstrates teleportation locomotion style. Let's see. Video, th does it say what video two represents? This is me reading the description on the YouTube videos. This video demonstrates continuous locomotion style. Okay, which is probably how I'll play. So that's not like room scale VR then. Because then, that's just, well, I guess, unless they, unless by locomotion they do mean walking around. Shift locomotion style. Huh. Okay, so video three is shift locomotion style. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of watching back video three now, and it's still zipping around. Oh, but you know what I think the difference is? Okay, so with shift locomotion style, you actually get the full... You visualize the full slide uh, when you zip around, and it looks like teleportation locomotion style you just you just like are suddenly in a new position um which a lot of people say lessens um nausea and i, I think that's true i think man i'm curious how i think i'm probably going to go in that middle ground that video two style of play where it's continuous locomotion style just because it's even if it makes me a little more nauseated I, it just feels more immersive to like be able to have full control over your movement um, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting things. Like, she was picking up a lot of stuff. Like, more than I thought you would be in general. Just uh, on tables and different things. And like, in that final third video, she was like, it, it looked like she was like putting things into her gun to fire off. Like, she was putting almost like an explosive device on the end of the gun and shooting it off. Which is really cool. That's like a cool idea for VR because like, in VR, it's so much fun to just like pick things up and manipulate them. So if like, you can pick something up and like put it in your gun and shoot it off, like, that's smart. Uh, turns out Valve might know what they're doing when it comes to making games. Um, I like what I saw. I'm still very excited for Half-Life Alex. I'm, I'm curious how large these areas are going to be. Cause it's like a lot of her moving through sort of hallways or even that area in the third video was pretty condensed, which I, I don't know if that's even necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but there's, just, I'm being able to like look up and see the larger city and like seeing, you know, a large space in front of you uh, is is cool in Half Life, and this seems like it's a little bit more compressed, but that's probably good. I mean, for VR, just to be able to focus on all the detail in the environment and everything, I think that's something that you want. But I like what I'm seeing. Um, I'm still very excited for this game. Can't wait to play it. All right, thanks for watching. Content like this is supported by the community on patreon.com slash minmax. And if you continue to support us and you're here long enough, you can even eventually hear me talk about Breath of the Wild 2. Check us out. Thank you so much.